Eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. See if we can uh, get this thing unstuck. We've got uh, two tractors. <laughs> one one early bird out here. He's already calling us. All right, we got a uh, we got our third Air Force dude out here. Wave wave, Aaron. <laughs> so let me tell you let me tell you what we got going on here. Let me. Uh... We got the Kubota hooked up. Hey, Aaron, when when you're pulling, use your uh, track, your uh, different. Oh, okay. So what we're trying to do here is dig out around the trailer, the line buggy, to make it easier to pull. Didn't work yesterday. Put some lime in the front end loader bucket to give some weight for the Kubota tractor and then also to make the buggy lighter. All right, what Aaron's gonna do is take that lime in the bucket and spread it. He said he can really feel the weight in the front of the tractor and just kind of reduce the weight in the buggy it's not optimal but just trying to get some of that weight out of the buggy so we can get it rolling i don't know how much weight each bucket is that Aaron and I bought together before we bought Piney Grove. Once we bought Piney Grove, I got my own tractor, so I know that these tires are water-filled, at least the rear tires are. Here comes a Mahindra. He just cleaned his tractor tires. We've spread lime on pots a lot of times this way, just with the tractor bucket, and guys with shovels slinging it gets caught up in the thatch and the grass. Makes a big old clump. this is we've done the third load of lime with the tractor bucket and uh, this is so wet and the more we go over it the more water we bring to the top and uh, Aaron almost got stuck that time so <laughs> that'll probably be the last load from this side of the buggy yeah where uh, it's getting complicated <laughs> <laughs>
Rob's in a low gear and Aaron's catching up to him. All right, we put Rob in a higher gear. There we go, we got a ditch to get across. fly strategy so what you witnessed there was three Air Force officers trying to be in charge but the guy driving the orange tractor is the one in charge because he's the one closest to the buggy yep. but we got her and now we're taking her out to the road we're gonna turn her around on the road where we won't get stuck and then we're gonna come in the high side of this plot spread the lime and lighten that buggy load and then go from there and we we're just talking about these uh, hydraulic motors back here and uh, this thing is all manually driven. When you hook it up this way, all right, you put that little wheel on the tire, and then that drives this hydraulic motor, which sends hydraulic fluid to these two motors, and that spins the paddle. And this thing can be hydraulically engaged, or it can be manually engaged. And you can see the hydraulic cylinder has been removed and we have this manual handle, and we have this lovely gra graphic. Engage, disengaged. Okay, this thing's gonna start slinging as soon as he gets going. You can see the paddle wheels going in the conveyor belt. We're spreading line, folks. This is how you do. We do not wanna get stuck, because he's about in the area got stuck last time. The boat is strong. Alright, so what we want to do, we want to get the buggy backed into the wet area. So if we get stuck again, it'll be an easier pull out of the wet area. So he's going to do a little three-point turn here. The problem is we have some ditches in the plot to keep the plot dry. So he can't put his three-point hitch down because the back of the line buggy weighs more than the weight of the three-point hitch. So when he backs up, you see the three-point hitch go really high. But he's not spinning, but you can definitely see the butt end of the tractor is lighter. He's going in the danger zone now. Having a hard time pulling it. He got her. She was struggling. Yikes. Kubota power. I stepped in an anthill at some point. That ant's crawling up my leg, biting the back of my knee. Ain't got time to worry about that right now, though. I'm gonna keep guiding Aaron back here. Don't get stuck, Aaron. If I can, I'll do like two runs like this. Is that a pitch? Yeah, on top better because the faster it turns, the farther it spreads. The problem is the line buggy is taking the weight off the back end of the tractor. He's losing traction. The more he goes over it, the more it brings water to the surface. You only really get one shot at this. And you can see the tires on that Kubota are just gummed up. I know, I know. And now you're in a bad place. Yep. Yeah, it's hard to, when I go slow, then I, I know. momentum. You had it there until it hooked. He's got a very narrow path here where it's dry. And when he's backing up fast, you can see the tractor just... The tractor sliding. He 
He's almost kind of ruined that path right there. All right, we didn't get it on camera, but I just climbed in that lime buggy and shoveled all the lime to the front of the buggy to put more weight on the back tires of the tractor. You can see it's already, it's already helping a lot. Those back tires were so light from the lime buggy lifting up, lift, from the bu lime buggy lifting up on it. And now he's got tons of traction. We didn't get this done. Alright man, I'll just go straight, and if they can do it again, then I'll go a little... Yep, let her rip, Tater Chip! Alright, we can put lime right where it needs to be. Look at that. That's a beautiful sight right there. best here not to get stuck going through the wet area. Uh, well, in Kansas. What do you got to say about liming and plotting? <laughs> fun, right? Yeah. Day fun. two? Fun, they say. Day two, right? Day two. Finally they, got it done, huh? You know what the good thing is? There ain't going to be a day three. <laughs> <laughs> we got this thing knocked out. <laughs> you sit up on the ridges at You know where I sit up on? I sit up on that condo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's the chair, sit the down, sit in the chair. Uh-oh. Forgot to engage him. Make an errand. Do all the work. Huh? <laughs> oh, the bill, the bill Mr. Rob's gonna get at the end of this. Thanks, don't fill the tank. <laughs> I said bring your tractor. Yeah. You do no game or you didn't, right? <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. Keep her going. Come on. Come on, Kubota. Look, he he puckered up. He's puckered up. That's a lot of iron it really is. Lime will not be your problem going forward. of it right there I got in there and shoveled it down to the center and uh, Aaron's going into no man's land there just a little bit left all right folks there goes the lime buggy out of the plot we got good coverage we got lime on every square inch of this plot. Some places more than the other. So Aaron's putting the lime buggy up on the road so it's easier for Rob to hook up to it, but I think Aaron forgot his whole front bucket in his tractor is full of lime, so he'll come out here and dump that somewhere. I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you what we did. This is where we were stuck yesterday. You can see the white lime. So we got lime over this. It's just gonna take a little bit of disking and smoothing. But you can see the lime good coverage so that was four tons of lime and this plot would be one acre if we could get all of it lime but you can see it's really wet up there and then here is uh you know we're a little too much lime here and this is where we dumped the lime that we took out of the buggy to make it lighter so there's three tractor buckets full of lime here so Rob will just take his tractor and his front end loader and kind of spread this out. And when he disks it in, just kind of mix this soil. So it's going to be over limed here in this area. This pot should be good to go for, I'd say, four or five years. With that much lime on there, that pH will start coming up this winter. It'll be real good in the spring and the summer. And it's already been limed once, but we did a lot of dirt movement. We created ditches all the way around the plot and brought that dirt into the pot. So therefore, we, um, we diluted the lime that was in the pot already. 
but uh, he should be good to go. I'm um, not have to do that again, and I'm sure that makes him happy. This is a much easier process if the ground is dry. You just tow the buggy with your truck. You don't even need a three-quarter ton truck. A half-ton truck will work. That's Lyman Food Pot. All right, folks, that's going to be a wrap for today. You can see I've got uh, Rob's Mahindra here behind my GMC. I'm going to take that home for him because he's got a one-hour drive to take that lime buggy back to the uh, agricultural center where he's got to drop that off. So I'm saving him a couple hours trip. But uh, you see, we got it all done. We were able to persevere and use a couple tractors and I think a lot of luck as well. It's lucky we didn't get stuck again, but we got that uh, pot all limed up and ready. It'll be good to go for several years. But hopefully you enjoyed uh, us taking you along on that today. Um, it's pretty exciting. Uh, no one likes to get stuck, but it sure makes for a good video. So uh, otherwise, that's all I've got. Um, as I always say, please click like, help our channel out. Please click subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, y'all.